What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's Matt. And JJ, this highlight video is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company and all of our high school football coverage is sponsored by Memorial Care. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We're on the road in Chino and the North is in the playoffs for the sec first time under second year coach John Nielsen. Yeah, the first time since they reached that championship game trying to play for it all. The Panthers are an at-large bid that they've got a tough task ahead of them. Taking on a Chino team, number one seed, undefeated Sierra League champion. They really rely on their tough defense and running the ball. And how do you defeat that? You go on offense first. Jordan goes to their star running back, Jordan Washington. But Chino is ready for that speed as they stop him for a short yard, four yard game. Chino doing a good job of just blowing up the blockers there, not just Jordan Washington. And then JJ Nielsen gonna get loose for six and Jordan is moving, but it's small chunks and that's what Chino wants to do, limit Jordan's big plays. They saw the film, big plays is what Jordan likes to do. Chino forces a punt and immediately goes to the ground game as Diego Ogata, a workhorse of the Cowboys, and he breaks loose for a 26-yard gain on the opening play. Yeah, that's a rut roll moment. Uh, then two bruising runners for Chino. It's Nathan Blanco, the buck and Blanco is gonna gain five yards there. You're gonna see much more of him. Yeah, usually we see thunder and lightning, but this time it was just thunder and thunder. Punishing running as Ogata is gonna cap this four play, 45-yard drive with an eight-yard touchdown, 6-0 Chino. After an interception, Chino is back on the field and it's Blanco bucking his way. Every time he carries the ball, I see yak, 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 yak. Jordan can score fast, and it looks like Gerald Pickens has an easy one, but he can't hold on to this one, and he'll get another chance later on. Though. Yeah, those uh, those stick with you, but you got to forget them and move on. Jordan Washington comes up with a nice run here. Uh, he would come up with a couple of nice runs, no surprise, when the Panthers absolutely needed him. We mentioned it earlier, and Gerald Pickens gets his number called again, and this time the Pickens easy as he goes up and snags this one for a 30-yard touchdown, and just like that, Jordan ties the game. Atta babe, short memory. Unfazed, though, Chino goes right back to what they do, which is pounding the rock, and here's a nice gain, just tough running yards for the home team. Blanco got things going, and Ogata gives Chino the lead with this 15-yard touchdown to put Chino right back in the lead with 156 left in the first half, and this is where things get crazy. After a fumble recovery on a punt, Jordan gets the ball, but Chino's defense comes up with a big play as CJ Gibson comes up with the pick on this pass and takes it all the way. Ouch. Crushing blow late in the half as Chino goes up 21-7 at halftime. Yeah, what could have been after an opening drive stop, Jordan immediately goes back to the air in the second half. Then, as he's done so much in his career, Jordan Washington breaks free for a 40-yard touchdown cut, to cut this to a one-possession game. This might be the last time we see Jordan Washington play football. Jordan, oof, that's that's rough, but what a night for him with 158 total yards. I'm sad now. Thanks, JJ. Sorry. Aiden Estrada takes this one on the outside for a first down, and that was a story of the night. Jordan just didn't have an answer for Chino's physical running attempt. Blanco caps and capping the drive with a seven yard touchdown, and Chino back up 28-14, kind of in full control for the way this game's going. After another punt, Blanco once again gets in for a 17-yard touchdown to put Chino up 35-14, and Chino would go on to win 42-22. Congratulations to the Jordan Panthers getting back into the playoffs. That's where you want to be at the end of every season, but this football season in Long Beach isn't quite over. So for coverage of that and everything else local sports, you've got to keep it right here at the 562.org.